So this is the chip. Um, it's this small. It goes in the dog usually when they're really young. Um, they can't feel it. It doesn't harm them in any way. And if they get lost, there's a scanner like this that the police department has now, and many animal hospitals have. Just turns on by pushing the big button. And then when you're ready, you hold it down the middle button and go up and down the body. Hers is already found. And the first three numbers of the, of the number usually can give you the organization where the microchip is from. So that might, if you call that organization, they can, and you give them this number, they can tell you everything you need to know, and they can connect you back to the dog. So it's a nice, easy way for dogs to get connected to their owners quickly. <laughs> Well, I'm Nicole Tanner. Uh, this is Tia. She's a yellow lab. Um, this all started, I guess, way back, probably around a year ago, um, when a hot air balloon almost landed in our backyard, and actually Tia ran away. Um, she, we couldn't find her, and it was it was a scary moment. And actually, she was brought to Erie Animal Hospital in Erie, and she was scanned for a microchip which they found and then they connected it to us so that's how that's how it all started and then I was sitting in Erie Animal Hospital one day and I saw around 5.45 a bunch two police officers come in with two different dogs and a different lady come in with different dogs and they these dogs were lost and they didn't know what to do and so they brought them to Erie Animal Hospital where they actually had a microchip scanner and they scanned all the dogs and they found owners for two of them, and the other one didn't have a microchip. But that kind of got me thinking, like, wow, this police station doesn't have anything to do with these dogs when they get lost. They have to bring them to Iriana Hospital, and what happens when they aren't open? Where, like, how do, they can't do anything else. So then I was looking in my backyard, and I found a bunch of small pumpkins and I assembled a group to help me paint them and decorate them for Halloween and the holidays. And they were all, we decorated them all from everything from ghosts to just sparkles on the pumpkin. <laughs> and um, we raised over $320 in two weeks to buy a microchip scanner for the Erie Police Department. Um, and it's, I presented it on November 15th to them. Uh, it was, a good experience because it's just like, wow, this is something that needed to be done. And they've already used it several times, and it's just wonderful knowing that this is, this is something that's really going to help them. And it'll help the owners get, the dogs get home faster to their owners, and it'll also help the police department save time from trying to find these dogs' homes. It'll make it quicker and easier on everyone.